The car starts with a welcome screen on the dashboard control panel located on the bottom. Val, the car's digital assistant, will first ask us where we would like to go. We can type in destination, Val on the keyboard, and see the results appear on the windshield display projection on top. We can select a route from previous suggested locations, and once we press go, the car will begin its journey. Now that the car is driving itself, Val will ask us how we would like to spend our time. And we're given six home screen options. To visit the navigation, to watch entertainment, to adjust travel modes, to view applications, view car maintenance, or adjust car settings. On the display projection, you can see that we're always alerted of the miles per hour, the duration and the route of the navigation, the Wi-Fi and battery life of the car. On the bottom left is the emergency button that will stop all self-driving car actions and allow us to take over manually. For longer duration car rides, we can venture into the travel modes. Here we have four options to set an ambience that fits for work, rest, socializing, or even customizing to fit the mood. On the right, we can see that the six initial home screen options become a home bar for us to toggle through. In road trip mode, we're able to play with natural visuals such as forests, lakes, and adjust audio such as waterfalls and jungles. We can change the volume to fit whatever it fits comfortably. And once we press OK, the travel mode mood is set. When changing the car ride activity, we go to the home toggle and switch to entertainment. Here, we're given five entertainment options to listen to music, watch movies, play games, read ebooks, or even stream Volvo TV. In the movie selection, we have different genres to pick from, which allow us to scroll through different movie titles. When we select one, we're given the movie details such as duration, rating, and movie synopsis. We can either watch a trailer to see a snippet or play the movie. When we play the movie, the car becomes an immersive theater experience. Here we're given the option to rewind, stop, play, pause, or fast forward the movie, or you can skip scenes and jump by clicking the timeline on the control panel. You're always given an option to go back and browse different movies, and the home toggle bar is there for you to flip through the car's various features.